Hello, I'm Kirsty Scott and this is news from Stirling Council. Bannockburn Primary School has begun an innovative new reading attainment project involving two furry classroom assistants. Working with Canine Concern Scotland Trust, the school holds regular reading sessions with two therapy dogs to help boost pupils' engagement and enjoyment of reading. The project is the first of its kind in Scotland. The dogs, Dylan and Scruffy, are brought along to the school library where pupils are encouraged to read aloud to them in a relaxed environment where they can simply enjoy the reading experience. We spoke to Bannockburn Primary School and Canine Concern about this new initiative. Research suggests that um, children who aren't particularly good at reading or confident at reading can become stressed or nervous when reading out loud. Um, so the purpose of having a therapy beside them is that the child will relax as the dog settles down, they will stroke the attentive pet and um, become more relaxed, allowing them to focus on the task which is reading and therefore associate reading with a pleasurable experience. Um, we've been doing it for about three years um, and we got involved through uh, dog training classes that we go to um, in Stirling and I think Anne-Marie went as well with, with Dylan and uh, the person who runs it, Jim Fleming, is a great uh, supporter of, of uh, Therapets and um, he had suggested that um, Scruffy would be an appropriate dog to be assessed. So when the, the learners return to class I feel that they're much more engaged in learning generally and they, they come back with a much more positive attitude. It's like they've got a little buzz about them. Um, they seem much more relaxed, um, happy um, and yeah, when they spend time with the dogs they always come back with a smile on their face. Um, I think generally the emotional well-being of some of the children um, has improved um, and it has had a positive impact on them as a whole. However, thinking just about um, the reading and their engagement in reading, um, for me the proof is, as well as the smile on their face, um, they have a much more positive attitude to actually participate in reading activities in class. Um, they're much more fluent um, at reading out loud because they're having more opportunities to practice reading out loud um, and feel much more confident because they've had a, like a non-judgmental audience. A new website designed to promote Stirling as a key location for business and investment has been launched. Created by the Economic Development Team at Stirling Council and local business partners, the Invest in Stirling website highlights Stirling's key strengths as a business location and promotes the area's opportunities to a global audience. In the past year alone, national studies have named Stirling as the best place to start a business in Scotland and Scotland's most affordable city. As part of this bulletin, we'd like to bring you a regular local weather forecast. So we're asking any amateur weather forecasters across the Stirling area to get in touch with us so that we can include your forecasts. Details are on your screen now or you can email us at communications at sterling.gov.uk. Our weather this week is brought to you by Stirling Weather. Showers will return on Friday before more persistent rain moves back into the area for the weekend. There will be a drier and brighter start to next week, but cloudy conditions will return by midweek, with heavier rain forecast for the latter part of the week. The temperatures, thankfully, will remain above freezing for the first half of April. And finally, sticking with our canine theme, two of Bandith Dog Shelter's longest serving residents have found a new home. The two male huskies had been in the shelter since May 2015, but they have now gone to live new lives with Saints Sled Dog Rescue. Don't forget to get in touch with your weather forecasts or to let us know what else you'd like to see in the bulletin. This has been news from Stirling Council.